What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of Conversations with Christian. Man, it's me, Ricky Jones Jr. We also have O'Neal Dabba in the building. <laughs> We are back first time for 2023 man mm. this is pretty cool new year new year new, yeah same us with I'm, new conversations well, i was gonna say new year new me but you said new year same us uh, yeah man new year new me the way Bro, it like we just evolve we evolve, evolve huh? in time but it's still us that's true you that's know true. what i'm saying like it's like a snake it's the same snake it just evolves with time. Wow. Sheds the skin and grows the more. Whoa i've never thought of myself as a snake mm. with shedding old skin yep. but being the same person but i like snake. it if you're gonna start a snake you gotta end a snake oh unless you're like animorphs uh, <laughs> you remember animorphs animorphs no is that a cartoon i think it was animorphs animorphs was a book oh. and all the animorphs books started off with like a human and it morphed into like a creature really and so they were kind of like not scary books but they were like interesting books in that respect mm. what did you and read that like this was like middle school. Hmm, interesting. Yep. I've never heard of it. But. They had all animals. I'm talking anyway, all animals. Oh, so that's interesting. But yeah, but yeah, I mean, but it's interesting though the way you broke it down. I mean, I was thinking like snake. Where's Ricky taking this, right? Uh -huh. But yeah, I mean, but they shed their old skin, bone. but yet they're still the same creature. Uh -huh. Yeah, they evolve into something new. They just grow. The shedding of skin signifies mm. growth and the new. And so, as we do with life, there are some things we should shed, some yeah. things that we should let go. Yeah. However, we are who we are, but more than anything, we're more so finding out who we were when we were created. Every day, we're getting closer to the day of why we were created. Man, that's not even where we were going. That is deep. But I'm just saying. I like it, yeah. But it's the truth. It is the truth. You know what I'm saying? Day, yeah. If you're growing, you should be growing Back to the original intent for your birth. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. That is exactly. exactly. But in it all with it all, we <laughs> plan to talk about vision boards today and the benefits of them and or why you may or may not use a vision board. Yeah. However, we're going to talk through it. We're going to walk you through it from a male's perspective. But in other words, from a Christian male's perspective, yeah. right? And so vision boards, are you for it or are you against it? Just I, boom, boom. Hit me with that. I am for vision boards. Okay. Um, yep. I'm, I, I would say too, I'm for it. Yes. I'm 100% for it. Well, 100 is a stretch, right? Because that means totally in totality. So I'm going to say that I am strongly for vision boards. Mm, why wouldn't you be 100? I actually you 100, give me. 110%. That's what people say. Yes. Yeah, they, they give you everything and then a little bit more. <laughs> Okay, but well, I mean, I like that. I'm open <laughs> towards that, right? And I said I don't want to be 100% because I'm open to what this conversation may present. Okay. Why? Because you uh, illuminated and opened my mind up to the whole idea of Christmas. So I'm saying that to say I'm opening myself up to what thus says O'Neill oh. pertaining to vision boards. Oh, right? I love it. He oh. may expand my mindset. However, I can say I'm for vision boards largely because it gives me a perspective of things that I'm desiring to come forth mm -hmm. with the idea that I know just through life and watching other people as well. Mm -hmm. If you want something to take place, yes, it can be a thought, but when you see that thing and start speaking that thing into your life, it's when you can actually touch and feel and, yeah. you know, Use yeah. your five senses to operate that thing. So vision boards gives you that. It's not like see quick scheme, but yeah. it allows for you to see it before you actually feel it. No, I agree. I mean, I think we're, you know, we're, we're visual, right? We're yeah. visual beings. That's and, true. Um, you know, the saying, you know, out of sight, out of mind, potentially, uh, right? So we're visual in that we are it works for us to be continuously reminded or yeah. to see the thing yeah. that we're speaking, that we're believing, that we're wanting, that you know God is saying to us, right? Yeah. So if we don't have that sort of you know visual element that helps to remind us of the things that we're mm. you know striving towards, mm. I think very easily it can get lost in the shuffle, yeah, lost in you know life, right? Like yeah. something's always gonna happen to yeah. where maybe also mm, we are we as people we get distracted very easily, mm -hmm. right? I think mm -hmm. like our attention span is like eight seconds or something very it's probably less now with TikTok. Very short, yeah. right? Sometimes when you when you think at least for me and I break it down like and I'm like dang eight seconds that's like or seven seconds now or whatever yeah 
or when we do certain things or you have to do it at like a you know fifth grade level or different things or whatever i'm like wow like it's it's always interesting to me where you know you have to keep it as simple as possible mm. in order for people to, to grasp and you know retain Very things true. right Very true. um you know not to go down the whole different path but like when you think about phone numbers a little bit too right the way that they're broken down like three digit mm -hmm. area code yeah three. three digit for the first you know mm -hmm. kind of part and then like the four mm -hmm. You know, that's the way that we remember things, mm -hmm. right? Because if you try to do it a whole long, you know, sequence, whatever, the yeah. numbers, then it, things might get jumbled or lost in the right. shuffle. But then right. when you break it down into little bits, you know, mm -hmm. um, it helps you to, to remember a lot better. So same thing, you know, thing with vision board, right? Because of the fact that we have short attention spans mm -hmm. and because something, the next thing that's going to happen that might throw us off our overall focus yeah it's good to see and go back to to those things right now i will say you know maybe the timeline that you've set maybe the thing that you're thinking you know it's not operating or flowing you know mm -hmm. as you originally thought right but still i have that thing written down right mm -hmm. like you know for 2023 new year new year new me or whatever okay. you know okay. right um that's uh, that's your thing but that, that, that's yeah you, you traced it twice yeah i did i did <laughs> So, you know, so then, yeah, I, I wrote, like it. I have, you know, at home, I wrote some things down on, on, you know, a board where yeah. I also like, you know, like the visual, like, you know, component where you cut out, like if you want to, yes. you know, focus on buying a house, like yeah. cut out like a house yes. or whatever you see in like no, a that's magazine good. That's good. or if you want to lose weight or whatever, cut out something that like signifies losing weight or whatever, you know, I think all of those that it, it helps for us to, to remember and yeah. to go back to the, to the things that we're, we're believing for the year. Yeah. yeah. And I even love, I forgot what book it was that I read um, but she doesn't call it a vision board she called it something else man um, but I love that concept that yeah. she said but more than anything it was like pointed to the idea that yes it's something that you're seeing yourself doing yeah. but more than anything it's like preparing you for what's to come right so it like shifted the idea yeah. from a far off thing to know this is going to be a reality that is soon to come yeah yeah and so like preparing yourself I, maybe it's like a prepare board or something i forgot a purpose board anyway the name of it, i'll put down below but in it all we all i love vision yeah. boards for that because it allows for me to see to your point yeah. like i use pictures <clears throat> um quite i don't know it's not too i tried one time with a lot of words but yeah. i didn't really do yeah um because words are like fleeting right but mm. if you have a visual an image of a thing it can like burn in your mind and yeah. even be in your subconscious and you're finding yourself thinking about it more than you actually are thinking about it right yeah. and so you know those things are reasons why i love pictures so i have pictures on my vision board which i actually need to change it i'm thankful that we're having this conversation um because then we'll talk about like where you should put it right but um i have to change things on my vision board because the things in which I put on there actually did take place, Ooh. right? And so, like, one of them actually was um, to go to South Africa, okay, in which that did take place. Check. Um, I also had a image of us. Well, it was an image of different places around the world with the idea that we would travel around the world. Yeah, which we did, right? Check. Um, and then it started talking about things about myself being creative, innovative, consultant, things like that, in which we had nuances of that. But all that to say, like, now I'm just thinking back to the board. Yeah. I had a Tesla truck yeah. in there. They never came out with it last year. Okay. Well, then that's I got not because of you then right i did put my my order in for it but i took my money back because i'm like i don't know what they're okay doing. okay go and say I'll well you wrote you create you added on the board correct I had and, it they, the board. and they come to fruition but it's not because of you correct it's, it's because tesla tesla come on come on tesla but you i know? get it the cost yeah, yeah, yeah. still went up things yeah. happen blah 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 he spent his money on tesla or twitter, twitter but anyway yeah. it ended all with it all like <laughs> just saying it to say like seeing those things and now being yeah. able to reflect back and say oh man that did happen and those things did take place and now let me go and make some yeah. adjustments to the vision yeah. board which i'm gonna definitely do now that we my wife and i have a a mindset as to what we want 2023 to be so i'm gonna definitely look forward to doing that yeah do yeah. you when do you well before we get to that question so the first question i want to ask is where do you think is a good spot okay to put the vision board yeah and yep. then after that we'll answer the question of when do you go back to look at it all and reflect to say oh man that did happen that did happen let's look ahead so yeah where's a good spot so i would say a good spot i mean at least for me it's a uh, 
a high traffic area in yeah. the house, yeah. right? For a couple of reasons. Um, I have where my board is currently positioned, um, where we're currently staying at now, where it's in between uh, the kitchen and um, like our living room family area, room. so yeah. family room kind of area. So uh, I walk by it every day. Yeah. And in addition to me walking by it, my kids walk by it yeah. and our guests, people who come and yeah. stop and I visit our house and so on, yeah. they see it. And then honestly, it kind of creates um, like a conversation yeah. piece in a sense. Oh, that's good. Uh, and in addition for myself, it might be something to like encourage and motivate someone mm. to want to do something similar, right? Yeah. Where we have um, things written on there mm. that we would like to focus on for 2023, primarily 2023. I would say 23 and three and beyond, yeah. but you know, if you do the and beyond, then in your mind, potentially you're never going to go back and create another board mm. because you already got everything. But, you know, I would say, yeah, focus on the year or focus on maybe the next six months or whatever it might be, things that you'd like to achieve. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, you know, have it right there. just that visual reminder. But no, but having it in the spot that it's currently at right now in my, at my house. Um, again, like it's given us a chance to walk by and see and be reminded you know, um, and as we work towards accomplishing those things, right? Um, so yeah, that, I would uh, say I like that's, that. That's right there. I like that. So me, I did it differently. However, I'm loving what you're saying yeah. because uh, you know I might even change it. However, where it is for us is in our room, yeah. and it's in between where our uh, bed is. Our bedroom and the bathroom which is the closet area so it's yeah. like right there so we see it when we go that yeah. way um however we see it the kids don't see it um we see it other people don't see it yeah and so we're not private where we feel like nobody yeah. else should see it right that wasn't a thought it was yeah. just an idea that maybe I just need to keep it in a room. No, no, but I mean, well, I love yeah, that put it right there, yeah. putting it out, not yeah. only for the kids to see, yeah. but then also for others to see. Yeah, it. literally, when we I have people that. come to the house, you know, they're like, oh, what is this? Or, you know, then they start reading it and looking at the things that's on. They're like, oh, wow, you know, that's that's cool. Yeah. That the This is your focus for 2023. I'm like, yeah, this is what we're believing God for. And this is where, you know, we're uh, planning, sitting down and kind of discussing as a family. And as you were talking, I was thinking, you know, we currently haven't done one of these, like, where as a family, but maybe, you know, it might be good to do multiple, right? Mm -hmm. Cause the one that we currently have is primarily Jessica, my wife and I, mm -hmm. but maybe a separate one to incorporate, you know, the kids mm -hmm. and the things that they're wanting to do and as well so that they can just be reminded of those things too. So yeah. I think you had Jay on there because it said 15,000 subscribers. On we, we did. We have that, you know, yeah. you know, for, well, well thinking of different YouTube, oh, okay. you know, channels, channels oh, okay. potentially. Cool, cool, yeah. Cool. So yeah, but no, but like you said that. for him, so we did yeah. recently start his YouTube channel right, for him. Right. So, you know, Treasure, Shout out yeah, Treasure right? Hunting with Jay. We and, talked you know, about it last week. And I will and say we're here, baby. We're here, baby. <laughs> One thing I'll say that I love about Ricky and you know his wife crystal is that they're doers right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for myself for me like i can over plan things mm -hmm. right my son has been wanting or been asking for a long time mm -hmm. like either 2015 or 2017 when he was young about creating the page and yeah, i have i have the software i have a macbook I have multiple video editing software. Multiple lights. Multiple. I have lights. Camera. I have camera. I have a drone. Recently got a drone. <laughs> and more stuff than me. <laughs> I got a lot of things, right? Yes. I'm just doing the research, the research. But admittedly, you know, it's like that fear of, okay, if I jump in and start a thing, what if it fails, right? So yeah. that was the thing that was in my mind. But then... Ricky kind of like gave a little nudge, like, all right, go for it. Go for it. Failure is inevitable. I mean, it's all about what you do when and those that's true. Come. That is true. Yeah. When that's you think an about any part of life, life period, Correct. you know, businesses, you know, no, nothing starts off where it's successful from jump, right? From, the, from day one. Correct. Things do happen. So, Correct. Right now, even but. doing nothing has the risk of failure. You can starve to death if you do nothing. That is true. You can start. So you have to do something. You have right? to do something. But yeah. it all with it all. Yeah. So now with that being said, you were even talking about the idea of maybe doing a vision board and incorporating the kids. Yeah. So well before we get to there, right? That we'll put that question on top of the next question that we already had lined yeah. up, which is um when do you go back to look at the vision board to either say yay, yay, yay or let me shift this over to like next year or yeah. like when when do you think is a good time? I mean, I have a thought, but I'm I'm open to hear what yeah. you're saying. I mean, I would say um as far as going back to make updates and so on, I mean having it in the to for me in the yeah. high visible area yeah. 
I'm able to look back every day in a sense to see what we've achieved or the steps that we're kind of taking to achieve that thing to yeah. know, okay, when something might potentially be able to come off the board, so to speak, mm. right? Because it's been accomplished. So that it varies and, you know, time frame might vary for you in your time frame. But, you know, maybe in my mind, like six months or so, right? Mm -hmm. Like halfway through the year, as you meet, you know, one of the things that we try to do, my wife and I too, is um, we hold like family, like budget meetings yeah. and have a family meeting to talk about, you know, what it is that we might potentially want to do, mm. you know, with our monies as mm -hmm. well as like other things, you know, we've, I will say it doesn't always happen as planned, you know, where we try to do like a quarterly meeting or yeah. whatever, yeah. you know, but like definitely at least, you know, every six months we go back and, you know, kind of like revisit the budget to see what she brings in, what I bring in what we're potentially, you know, going to um, achieve for the year and then see from there based on what we have outlined as part of our vision, you know, for our family, like what can get allocated towards what and, you know, what we might be able to achieve as well. One thing I'll say, you know, last thing and then, you know, I'll turn over to you. It's uh, maybe for your board, like it doesn't have to always be big things, right? Mm. Like it's good to have little things that yeah. were you feel like and you that you're achieving something That's right good. like you're accomplishing something so it doesn't feel like everything is just so far you know out of your reach True. right because you know like sometimes like let's say i'm gonna use the example not directly connected but like i know for me sometimes like i'll clean i'll plan to clean my a room right like my son he'll outgrow clothes whatever you you start the process and you'll be in there for like two hours cleaning and then you look down and you're like, God, dog, it looks like I haven't done not a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's still stuff everywhere. It feels right. like you haven't achieved anything. Right. But at the same time, like, you actually did you achieve actually did. certain things. Like, yeah. you know, there are things that you threw away. There are this. or There are things that you have done to go towards that overall goal of cleaning the room. Mm -hmm. But being three hours in, two hours in, however many hours, yeah. it might still look a mess. Yeah. Because it feels like you haven't done a thing, but yeah. you've actually been doing things. So... Yeah, put some small things on your board mm -hmm. as well, right? Mm -hmm. um, not just only big things that feels like it's going to take a lot for you to achieve. Yeah, so, no, I love that. So I can say for me, um, the goal has been for us as a family, but really it's been close and I to this point. Yeah. However, liking what you're saying about involving the kids, we just have to see <laughs> their attention span for it at this age. However... Yeah us we look at things in september yeah. with the idea of like how has the year gone yeah. i like to live september to september yeah yeah um but how has the year gone thus far at this point in september and then let's start to plan ahead yeah. going forward yeah. knowing that a lot of things we like to do and start in january because yeah. of new month um tax purposes right yeah uh, the cutoff and spending is in december yeah. right so like do we need to spend some things do we need not spend something so like there's that aspect yeah. as a business yeah. owner and so september is like the month where we look at things and say oh man like has things taken place yeah. but then a relook at things come december time frame yeah, with yeah. the idea of okay yay or nay as far as things being your things being accomplished but then outside of that what do we look to do going ahead yeah um but even like this year we kind of did things a little differently where we didn't even look at the vision board we just talked we had conversations we met with the delvas um he and his wife and we talked off of those things that kind of grew from those yeah yeah um branches so that was good i really like that so yeah, yeah like ricky was saying where we one evening you yeah. know our families we came together and it was a huge board uh, uh, -huh. uh -huh. it was it was like a vision wall. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. It's probably about four feet by six feet. What is yeah, it? Yeah. Five feet. Probably about four feet by five I would five say, because the board's taller than you, Ricky. Is it? It is taller than so you. So it's six feet. <laughs> <laughs> Four feet by six feet. Because I'm a little under six feet. <laughs> but yes, yeah, no, we came together, we talked. We drew a line down the board, Jones family, Delaware family, yeah. and we talked through it, we walked through it. Yeah, so I love that. So, you know, to add on to what you were saying before I forgot, you know, uh -huh. um, I would say to those, you know, watching, listening, and so on, yeah, do the same. Like, you know, if there's a family that, you know, you're really close to, uh -huh. friends, and, you know, where to hold each other account accountable, yep. right? Yep. Like you write things down and yep. like, you know, also ideas, right? Iron sharpeneth iron. So like maybe I might have an idea or something that, you know, as we're talking or I might hear something that you're planning for, you know, your family moving forward that I might not have thought of or whatever. So I'm like, oh, okay, wow, that's amazing. Maybe we can 
kind of utilize or adapt that to yep. fit us, yep. right? Adopt that concept yep. so that it is something that could be, you know, applied as part of our lives or whatever, you know? Because mm -hmm. I will say, like, you know, um, some people, I'm just going to say the way I'm thinking, you know, hopefully it doesn't come across bad, but some people, like, they can't see as far ahead as mm -hmm. other people. Mm -hmm. So, like, sometimes they need that little flame to ignite yeah. them, right? right? They need something, a little spark, like, you know, to liven them up a little mm -hmm. bit to get their juices flowing, mm -hmm. right? Because, like, I could sit in a room all day and try to think of something on my own, but, like, I can only see so far, right? Mm -hmm. My mind can only take me so far, but then you you connect with other people mm -hmm. who are like-minded uh, as far as, you know, like, um, having strong values in the word and so on and so forth. Or mm -hmm. even the people who aren't in the word, I guess you can kind of, like, get ideas from them, too. But um, but get someone who can come and kind of, like, help give you that little, spark, that little yeah. spark, that little yeah. jolt that you need and, right. you know, to oh, get you good. to... Think beyond good. where, you know, your mind could potentially have taken you right. on your own. So, Which yeah. inevitably is as well a benefit of a vision board because it allows for you to see things that you aren't able to actually see right now. Yeah. But it's actually things that you want to see in the future, right? Yeah, yeah. And I like your point, as you already said, uh, maybe it's a small point, right? Yeah. Maybe it's a small idea. Uh, maybe it's saving uh five hundred dollars in three months yeah. right it may add up to a bigger goal yeah. right if you do that over the year that's yeah. what two thousand dollars or so yeah. and so instead of saying oh i'm gonna save two thousand dollars which some people may have never done so every three months let me do 500 and yeah. you're excited of achieving that goal yeah, yeah and you know now that you can duplicate a goal which is another benefit of like having a goal or having a vision of a thing ahead and being able to accomplish it then you know it can take place yeah and when you know that you can accomplish a goal that you actually set yourself oh my god yeah I love, watch yeah. out world because yeah. then you have a person that not only has accomplishment but then they have momentum and excitement to achieve other goals that they set ahead so that's why i even love vision boards because it allows for me to not only like see a thing but I visualize it, but then I also see myself doing it, right? So when I had different things on a vision board, yeah. I, with the Tesla truck, I was visualizing myself driving the Tesla truck, mm. getting looks on the road, going to the charging stations. Yeah, like yeah. I already had visualized which charging station I was going to go to, what I was going to wow. do. So in that, I'll tell you, so there's a charging station, Tesla charging station over there by Hyde Park at the uh, Ingalls Drive or parking yeah. lot or whatever. I was going to go there with the idea I can charge my car. I can go see, you know, if there's anything new in the grocery store, yeah. but then there's goody goodies right down the street I can walk to. Okay. Give me something to eat, or I can go get a um, cupcake or a, or a popsicle over there. Like, higher part was right there. So it was like the perfect case scenario. So I visualized myself taking part in the images on my vision board. Yeah. And I say that to say that's another thing that vision boards allows for you to do. It allows for you to see yourself a part of that thing that you want. Because without it being on the vision board, or it'll just be in your mind. Yeah, it'll yeah. just be a dream that you yeah. may have on certain days. However, when you see that thing, but then you see yourself in that thing, yeah. that's as well how you... I'm not even going to go down that road because there's this whole The Secret. I don't know if you saw the movie The Secret. The Secret? No. Yeah, it was rooted around the law of attraction. So okay. The Secret being the law of attraction. And so, okay. Okay. I'm not even going down that rabbit hole. I'm going to have to look at it. Yeah. It's, okay. it's good, right? It's good if you know and if you stay rooted to who you are yeah. right because law of attraction has its nuances but nonetheless um in it all with it all the reason why i brought it up because in that movie the law of attraction talks about when you think on a thing then you allow for that thing to become the reality that you live in but then it also takes a step further to say when you think on a thing and when you have feelings toward the thoughts that you have you as well yeah. attracted to your life yeah. and so all that to say um I'm going to make sure that my vision board yeah. has things that I want to see myself in doing, but I will take the time throughout the week, right? I have meditation time every day. And so in that time, I'll use images on the vision board to see myself in and feel what it will be like to live in that yeah. moment. Yeah, I love it. I mean, that's, that's deep. Like you took it like next level with the Tesla truck, like you said, yeah. where to think, you know, beyond, like not just to write a thing down or right. get a picture of a thing and say, ooh, I want that. Yep. But to actually think to say, okay, all right, I'm gonna charge it over here. Then while I'm charging, I could go and do this. I could go and do that. Like, wow, that's really bringing it to life. I love that. Yeah, you know, one thing. one thing I'll say too yeah. is that's very important for those you know watching you know for myself and so on too is I like to be realistic, right? Like, yes. 
set goals or, you know, put things that are on your vision board that you can, that you strongly believe, you know, um, that can be achievable, I would mm. say, in the sense that, so you know... Why, why would you say limit yourself on the vision board? Not limit yourself, but no. Let me say it like this. Um, to, as, as I'm thinking as far as being realistic and so on, meaning if I put down on my vision board that I'm going to have a million dollars by the end of the year, but yet don't do anything towards achieving that thing, right? That. Just to put it down there, like, okay, then you're not being realistic, right. my, you know, because you're just putting things down right. that honestly you might not ever achieve or whatever, By right? doing the same things that you have been doing. By doing the same, I mean, but yeah. I mean, but then if you're going to put something on the board, mm -hmm. then yeah, it needs to be something that you need to actively, you know, take part, uh, in, take part in, you know, uh, you know, in to order to, to achieve that yeah. thing, right? Like, you know, well, vision without works in a sense, right? If you don't, if you write, write something down and there's no steps, no actions, Nothing being taken place to 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 achieve the thing like then then what's then you're never gonna you know it could be something big like million yeah. dollars or it could be something small like mm -hmm. I don't know like um gonna get braces this year or whatever but then you don't do anything towards it or whatever mm -hmm. then okay it's not realistic because it's just something that I put down but then. I'm not doing anything to right, have things, said, right? Like now another appointment. Nothing, you know? So then be realistic. Yeah. Make sure that it's things that you want to, you know, or you can see yourself working towards, you know, um, accomplishing. Yeah. You know? So yeah. I dig that. So yeah. I dig that. I, I love that. Because you, at first I thought you were saying limiting what's on the vision board, yeah. but you weren't. You were saying making sure that you put things on the vision board that you're willing to take actions to. Yeah, I mean, I could right. put on the thing, I'm going to buy a castle. Correct. You know, because right now my wife and I, I mean, of course, we're looking to purchase land or, you know, to build a house, uh, and you know, and so on and so forth. mini castle. So, yeah. <laughs> So I could put on there like, oh yeah, the end of 2023, we're gonna have a castle. Oh, with a moat. You know, but then yeah, <laughs> you're gonna be this, this, and that. But then like, you know, it's good to be realistic. Say, mm -hmm. okay, well, you know, mm -hmm. am I gonna get a castle? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, or maybe I could get a castle, but then it depends on the perspective. You know, hey, like what am I how much is a castle? Correct. What am I putting towards? You know, how much do I have available or be, by the end of the year? Will I be able to save enough money to go towards a down payment of a castle? Will I be able to make enough money to maintain the monthly mortgage that would be required to own a castle and so on and so forth? So being realistic in a sense of that, you know, um, not setting myself up. Because because in that case, if I put things on the board that are far beyond my reach or whatever, then I'm going to see like no value in it. I'm going to say this is a total waste of my time. I'm, you know, throw it away and never do it again because like nothing good came out of it when I did it before because mm -hmm. the things that I was putting on there, you know, made absolutely zero sense because I wasn't, you know, putting forth the action and or uh, did the research to know what all would be required to not just obtain the thing, yeah. but sustain, maintain, maintain yeah. and like sustain that. the thing, you know? So, yeah. um, but yeah, I no, mean, that's good. I like yeah. that. So quick question before we go, yeah, yeah. should somebody put winning the lottery on their vision board? Mm. Ooh. <laughs> it would be something nice, but I don't know. I think if you put winning the lottery on your vision board, you then become obsessed and feel like you have to buy tickets and play your numbers. You have people like they have numbers, right? Like yeah, they set, I do know some people, yeah. and then like they feel like, in my opinion, when you have numbers. Yeah. Like you have to play those numbers every single time lose or lose. because the day that you don't play those numbers will be the day that those numbers hit for millions and you get nothing, right? So what so we like, also yeah. are saying is we don't invite don't you to play the lottery. Don't put it on the board. Because we know what you play the lottery. <laughs> but anyhow, with it all great people, let us know down below what you believe and what you think and what do you do concerning vision boards. We would love to read and love to talk about it yeah. and love to get your input because it's a conversation, right? Yeah. Not only are we talking, but you're listening, but we want to hear what you have to say as well. So in the comment section below, let us know. Uh, on the next one, which is on Thursday, we're yeah. going to be talking about New Year's resolutions. Yes. Okay, so make sure y'all come back. Until then, great people, love you all. Peace.